LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, but have different retainer clips underneath the keys. To help you find the correct repair video for your keyboard, we've created a searchable database. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, enter your laptop brand and model number, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on View Videos. A list of all compatible videos will appear. Select the retainer clip model that matches your keyboard. That's all, you're now ready to repair your laptop keyboard. For this keyboard, we will be showing the removal and reattachment of the J key for standard size keys, Shift for the wide set keys, and F12 for the top row small keys. For removal of your standard size keys, simply insert a tool under the upper right corner to begin with. Apply gentle upward pressure. This keyboard has some issues with the clips not wanting to stay in place during removal. So you'll begin with the top, move to the bottom, and then lift the keycap slightly and run a tool underneath to remove the clip supports. In case your retention clips didn't remove themselves with the keycap, we will remove them by supporting the bottom of the clip with our finger, inserting a tool under the top right and left corners and applying gentle upward pressure until both pieces remove themselves. To reassemble your clips, we'll begin with the top clip, which has a small notch out of the circle at the bottom and plastic support arms at the top. For the bottom clip, there's a divot on the top end and a small notch facing outward. Simply place the two halves together, ensuring the plastic support arms of the top clip and the holes of the bottom. Then using metal hooks here, here, and here, we will lay the clip down bottom first, press gently on the top corners, then replace the keycap, firm press, and we're functional. To remove your wider set keys, we will insert a tool under the upper right corner, gentle upward pressure, repeat at the bottom, and then run your tool along the bottom and top edges to disconnect from the metal support arms. And gentle upward pressure to remove from the retention clips. To remove the metal support arms, simply push one end to the side, lift, push the opposite direction to remove from both holes. We will then repeat with the opposite side's arm and those are removed. To remove the plastic retention clips, Support the bottom of the clip with your finger. Insert a tool under the upper right and left corners. Apply gentle upper pressure and push downward to remove the clip. To reassemble the clips, we'll begin with the top clip, which has a small divot out of the circle in the center and two holes at the top. For the bottom clip, there's an upward facing notch on the top side. To reconnect the two halves, insert the top clip through the middle of the bottom, about halfway, and then insert the plastic support arms into the holes of the bottom clip on both sides, ensuring everything is connected. Then using metal hooks here, here, and here, we will lay the clip down bottom first, and then small press at the top, to replace the metal support arms, there's a metal tab with a hole here and here where you can insert the arms by placing one end in first, pushing to the side, inserting the other end and laying down flat. Repeat for the opposite end. Lay the arm down flat. Roughly line everybody up and then place your keycap on top of everything and you may need to move the metal support arms around just a little bit. But once they're in place, you just firm press all around and the key is functional. For removal of the, for removal of the top row keys, we'll begin by supporting the bottom of the key, inserting under the upper left corner, gentle upward pressure, repeat with the lower left corner. We will then 
left on the upper right, lower right, and insert our tool underneath the key to support the clips. Gently pull up as we move across the key for it to be removed. Similarly to the standard size keys, your top row key clips may remove themselves alongside the key cap, but just in case they haven't, we'll go over removal here. For removal, support the bottom of the clip with your finger, insert your tool under the left side, and apply gentle upward pressure to both corners, taking care not to exert itself. Lift up, and the clip is removed. To reassemble your clips, the top clip will have two holes at the top, and the bottom clip will have a small upward facing notch on the upper end. To reconnect the two clips, insert the top clip through the middle of the bottom, lay flat roughly, then connect the plastic arms from the top clip into the holes on the bottom. You may need to give a small push. Then, using metal hooks here, here, and here, we will lay the clip down right side first, press on the left side, replace our keycap, firm press, and we're functional. We'll now show you how to remove a laptop key. Simply pull on the edge of the key in a gentle but firm motion. Lift up and remove the key. It's that simple. If your key is loose and not sticking properly to your keyboard, your retainer clips are likely broken. This issue can be fixed by replacing your retainer clips. Replacement laptop keys and retainer clips can be purchased at LaptopKey.com. LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys.